What's up, traders? What's up, investors? The 15th of December. Guys, taking a look at Bitcoin this morning, and we'll probably drop in over to XRP. <clears throat> Maybe we'll take a look at Casper as well. So Bitcoin in a pretty critical moment here. Um, we had a pretty big break the other day. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I want to talk about a couple things here that could be taking place for Bitcoin. So there's two scenarios that are probably going to play out here, or one of the two scenarios that are probably going to play out here. Let's zoom in on this Bitcoin chart and discuss what I think here is potentially one of the two scenarios will play out. So we have the ultimate high here of this move, which took place on the 5th of December. It's this green candle right here. We had a pretty big break, which took place on the 11th. We did not pull back to the 38601 level. That's this yellow line on my chart. And we have recovered quite a bit. So there's, like I said, one of two things is playing out here for Bitcoin. Market rolled over, had a very sharp recovery. Okay, so if we don't break into a new high here, this market is going to set up a lower high, which could already be in place, and then the market's going to roll over, putting in Confirming that lower high, also putting in a new low, undercutting this low right here. So we'll have a change in trend to the downside, at least for the time being. Doesn't mean markets are crashing, doesn't mean any of that. It's just telling us that the trend has changed to the downside, to sideways for now. And then that could take us to that 38601 level. Obviously, you can imagine if that, ha <clears throat> if that happens, the rest of the market will cool off as well so keep that in mind just like when we look for changes in trend to the upside so let's talk about that real quick we also look for changes to the trend changes of the trend to the downside so a change of the trend to the downside would be when you get a higher low so we're still in an uptrend here and then when this market starts to rally but it can't break above the last move, the last high of the move, this area here potentially could be the lower high and then getting ready to roll over, making a lower low and giving us that change in trend. So, you know, if I was looking to go short, this is what I would be looking for. And if you flip this upside down, the opposite of everything I just said would be what I'd be looking for if so I was looking to get in a long trade. So a lot of moving parts in the market. It's not just black and white. So anyways, that is that. And like I said, if you flip that around, if the market pulls back, so let's see if we can find a scenario there. If the market pulls back and so here, here's a Here's an example right here. So we have the market pulling up, higher lows, higher highs, higher low, lower high. Right here is a lower high. Found resistance. We actually have one of our resistance levels there at 24,145.72, but you probably won't have those on your chart. So you just got to watch the price closely and you got to have stops in place. Because sometimes you'll go long or you'll go short at an area of a potential higher low or lower high. And the market will continue to go, which means the trend is not changing yet. So you got to have stops in there. And of course, guys, not financial advice. So we have the lower high. And then boom, we get the lower low, lower high. Boom, big break to the downside. Big change in trend. And they don't always last for months or years, guys. It can be very short term. Trading is a whole different animal than just long-term investing. You get this big, big rally here. Higher high, higher low, higher high. We have a new change in trend. So anyways, what does any of this have to do with what's going on right now? Well, we're in a point where we could be in a change in trend, and that could be to the downside. That's scenario number one. 
Keep in mind, though, this is still in an uptrend. We're just talking about potentially kind of putting your warning signs up here that the trend could be changing. But right now, it's still to the upside. We still have a higher low. We still have a higher low, a higher low. So the trend is clearly to the upside. This big break here down is still a higher low. The trend is still higher. And it could just be a, a quick little blip, a quick pause. We talked about this in uh, a couple days back and just a, another big breakout, the upside. So a couple targets that I will be keeping my eye on here just for areas to just for areas that Bitcoin could potentially um, pause at on its way higher. Now, I don't own any Bitcoin. I don't have my Bitcoin micro futures anymore. I'm not even invested in Bitcoin at all. My target number one would be up there at 47,000, give or take a little bit. That would put us right here. Let's see, 46, 47. Right in that area, we're at 42,000 right now. So that's roughly going to bring us up about probably be about 10% or so, about 10% move higher for Bitcoin. Target number two above the market, once we get past 47, you know, assuming the market doesn't roll over, is I think it was 67. So that puts us, let's see here, is it 67 or 62? Right up in here. So... I think it was 62,000. Anyways, that's right up in here. Give or take that mid mid to low $60,000 mark. And that would put us up, let's see here, about 40, 45, 46%, give or take. So it can happen quick. Bitcoin can move quick. We're in the 40s. We could find ourselves up in the 60s. We've been there before. It'll happen again at some point. We have a lot of resistance above the market for Bitcoin. You can see all of this baggage up here in the 60s, 50s to 60 thousands. So to see the price get back up there, no big deal. This high right here is at 47,000. My target number one is right there at 47,000. And then above that, we're up in this area, the 40, or the, excuse me, the, uh, mid to low $60,000 mark. So you just want to be nimble. You want to be open to both scenarios that Bitcoin could be rolling over right now. And that's fine. You know, whatever. Or could just be a quick pause and a breakout is to come. So we've seen cryptos recover in the past couple of days with Bitcoin. XRP being one of those. Pepe being one of those. And I'm sure there's some others. So anyways, that's that. Let's take a look at Casper since you guys are. Let's see here what we got. Casper. We're running in the USD chart. And Casper is currently down 2.3%. So we still have the high of the move. Has not been broken yet to the upside. We could pull back to this high here, which would be give or take the three nine area and then an, on a percentage basis here that would roughly put the price down another five percent so this is still in a strong move higher very volatile we have a higher low boom higher high so we had a nice breakout here into a new high we're pulling back let's see if this line can hold and then from there re-evaluate so i know a lot of people a lot of people who hold casper accumulate have been and uh, will continue to accumulate at lower levels the major resistance here is basically well, we got this high here we got this whole section here and then we recently just pulled up once again to that area so that is a total struggle there for casper and that kind of represents the lower end of this range going back a couple years. So we have what was once support flip into resistance. So this was a floor of support, which got broken back in here. 
and it has since been resistance one, two, and potentially three right now. So this third time could just be, so we pulled up to that old ceiling of resistance. We're pulling back and it could just be a quick little pause. And then we finally break back into that zone. You'll see that markets will try to either break above or break below a certain zone multiple times. On the second, third, fourth attempt, it'll actually break into that zone, but it'll definitely shake people out multiple times. And we already, we've already had one, you could call this two, three, and potentially number four just took place. Um, looks like that was around the 5th of December. So slight pullback, and then we can see a rally, especially if Bitcoin continues to break out higher, there's a really good chance we're going to see Casper continue higher, take out this most recent high, Definitely test up in here at the 6.3. So that's kind of just my opinion, guys. You know, there's no guarantee that any of this will happen. It's what I think. It's kind of what I'm looking at here on the charts. By the way, I don't hold any Casper, so I am not invested in this project, at least at the time being. Used to hold Casper, give or take, um, and trade it. But right now, haven't been in it for a while. Guys, that's my opinion on Bitcoin and Casper. Let's see what happens. We have the U.S. stock market futures are up this morning, the 15th of December. So we have crypto. Let's see, Casper's down, recovered a little bit. Bitcoin's down slightly. So if we see the stock market continue to rally, there's a good chance we'll see more of a sideways to down market for Bitcoin and then, you know, flip the switch there. We'll see the market cool off a little bit. It's getting pretty extended. I'm not sure why it keeps going up, but that, whatever. And then we'll maybe we'll see crypto do some rallying after that, maybe into the new year. All right, guys, that's enough for me. You guys take care.